Hey, wow, that's like art, you know? Salvador Dali-esque. That is Precious Time from Pat Benatar at MTV. You got Mark Goodman, and you also have some music news coming. We're going to update you on Billy Joel momentarily. At MTV Music Television, we send crews to the depths of the ocean, to the frozen wastelands, to the heart of the black hole to find the latest in music news. Hundreds of thousands of people. The modern jungle of Los Angeles. Party, kind of if it's happening, the latest trend. Uh, MTV is, is there. In London. Anywhere in the cosmos or right here at home. I'm Nina Blackwood and we have some music. Music news on MTV Music Television. I guess when you talk about uh, widespread popularity or nationwide success for Billy Joel, the record that did it for him was The Stranger. When Billy was here in the MTV studios, he talked about his reaction to that success. It took a long time. I got to tell you, it's not something that went, you know, now it's the biggest album. Um, the Stranger album was out for a long time. And we were doing a tour. And the tour was kind of getting, you know, going on and on and on. The album just caught up with the tour at the end of the tour. So we'd go on stage and we'd play and we'd go, don't go change. And he always go, yeah. And we didn't know what was going on. We said, Gee, we must be doing this song better or something. We didn't even realize the song was becoming a hit song. And it took quite a while. Um, it was about a year and a half, two years for the album to really kind of have sold what it did. And then when the, the 52nd Street album came out, I think people thought I just threw it out right afterwards. I didn't. It was like at least 14 months after The Stranger album was made that we put it out. But what had happened was, because The Stranger was big, now there was this acceptance for 52nd Street, and it just went whoosh, shot right up. So, I, it just seemed gradual. It didn't seem like it happened all at once. I really gave Billy a lot of credit to 52nd Street. He made a couple of left-hand turns and doing some real jazzy stuff on that. I really enjoyed it. Coming up, we have conversation with David Gilmore from Pink Floyd, also members of Spandau Ballet, Peter Frampton, Gary U.S. Bonds. Where else do you get these things but here at MTV? While we're thinking about Billy Joel, I'll just mention in passing that uh, the new album, The Nylon Curtain, rocks into the top ten this week on the Billboard charts. Billy's feeling confident as ever, and hopefully we're going to see him on tour. I'm ready to get back into the music. Daryl Hall and John Oates video right here.